Hello. Oh, whoops. We got no camera. There we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part three of the Stay at Home Show segment or episode one. Uh, I am going to share with you guys now. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys some feel good things. Uh, some useful things also and we're gonna start out with let me just open it up here we are gonna start out with infinity view and view. what is in your community to help uh, I am talking right now about what we have in St. John around us and some information about it. Uh, Inner City Youth Ministries will deliver a food pack to anyone in need. Uh, this is not about, uh, this is about people who, mm, many of the resources in here not all of them certainly but many of the resources in here are resources for people who don't already have very many resources anyway uh, so for example there are many many children who relied on school lunch programs for their for a good portion of their daily meals and now that schools are out they don't have access to that food anymore which means a lot of kids are pretty hungry and in many cases the parents either in many cases the parents can't provide the extra food for the kids so Inner City Youth Ministries will deliver a food pack to anyone in need. And if you are in need, you can call them with this information. The link to this document is in the description. Uh, here is a link for donations if you wish to help these people out. Uh, the Crescent Valley Resource Center is postponing. That means they are putting off all of their programs and events, and they have closed the doors to their public. Um, you can also stay connected to them, or you can still stay connected to them if you wish through these things. Uh, the Nick Nicole Center will have a grab-and-go breakfast from 8.30 to 10 and a lunch from 12 to 1 from Monday to Friday at least until this week, Friday, March 27th. Uh, this is likely intended for children. All children's programs and other groups will stop for at least two weeks. Uh, Main Street Baptist River Cross Mission. Uh, they're sending thoughts and prayers. Uh, Romero House will be serving hot steak. Uh, whoops, hot takeaway only meals. So Romero House is uh, also a service that provides food for people who don't have good access to resources under normal circumstances, under normal situation. Uh, so they will have a dining room window open from 9.30 to 12 every day with extra bags for children or self-isolating neighbors. Sophia Recovery Center is closed to the public. Big Brothers Big Sisters is closed. Uh, Outflow is still open. Uh, I must confess, well, let's let's keep going through this. PCA, Peace, SJ closed. Pulse, uh, if people have emergency food needs, they can contact Pulse by message or, or by call or Facebook. South End Food Basket. Family Resource Center, uh, Coverdale Center for Women, St. John Learning Exchange cancelled, Be Me Kids. Aha! I'm going to come back to Be Me Kids. Um, 
West Side Food Bank will be open on Friday, March 20th from 1 to 3. Further information. Carlton Community Center closed. Hillcrest, all these places are closed. But some of these people are still around and trying to help. That's a, that's a, that's a key thing to remember. Uh, going back up here, the Be Me Kids thing. Be Me Kids are helping families. You can order a grocery box online. Check their Facebook page. Um, so a, a key thing with this. Um, let's remember that this is here and that this may be the exception. Be Me Kids may be the exception to the thing that I'm talking about. It all really depends on whether they are uh, giving a grocery box to people who contact them or whether they are buying and paying for a grocery box or like rather whether they are uh, selling you or helping you to buy cheaper a grocery box um, a lot of these all of these links are not what I expected what I was expecting and what I'll still be looking for to let people know about is uh, services that are available to help people, for example, if they are self-isolating to go and buy groceries um, or to go and pick up things at the pharmacy or something like this. Uh, now, if you do need help with that, um, those of you who, who um, you know, let me know if there's anything that anybody needs and I can do what I can or contact anybody else that you know how to contact through the Y. Uh, and there's loads of people who want to help. But most of what we just looked at is uh, support services for people who, who before all of this went down, uh, for people who already had difficulty accessing resources or who already had some difficult situations um, and in situations like this it's people who are already at a disadvantage people who already don't have good access to resources um, I think that it's probably easy for these people to kind of for them to be pushed aside in people's heads and forgotten and to be just kind of left to their own devices. Uh, so these are all very good things. Um, but I would hope that before anybody accesses them, they think about what resources they already have available. Uh, and if accessing this stuff would remove resources from somebody else it, yeah so i've said enough on that uh on the next story here i have some great things that you can share with your kids or with your friends kids or your family's kids if you are a grandparent or your siblings kids um so let's go into infinity view here well, hold on let's go into infinity view whoop and let's take a look we have the big list of children's authors doing online read alouds and activities uh read alouds for elementary school kids so these authors are offering read alouds let's just open it and see where it takes us so this one takes us to instagram I don't know Instagram, but we have her reading May Among the Stars. Uh, it's audio only, it looks like, not video maybe. Um, or maybe not live right now, I'm not sure. I don't have sound, so I cannot check. Uh, we have Diane, Diane Alber. Diane Alber on Facebook. So this woman, I'm not going to check every every author here. I'm just going to take a look at a few just to get a, a, a sample of 
what we might expect. So here we go. I just uploaded yesterday's reading of a little scribble spot on YouTube. And so you can get to her YouTube. And she, she is on day six. So she's been doing these uh, regularly, which is fantastic. Let's go back. Uh, we have another Instagram one, Mac Barnett, and also he will have them on his website. Helen Boudreau is hosting Draw Me More, a draw along activity. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it if you have any artistic children. Uh, or maybe maybe you'll just enjoy watching it anyway. Um, the particular kind of topics that I like to watch, um, the particular topics that I like to watch, I enjoy. Oh, look at that. She gives a thing. What is this? Chapter? Cover art? What? Mason and the Magnots? Oh, I see. This is panels. This is storyboarding, maybe? Like uh, setting the ideas for what is going to be in the comic. And then here is each comic page panel and a full page panel. I see. So she is helping people to draw comics, I think. Now that's what I that's what happened when I clicked on the pencil, but how do we see? Where do we see? You are the very first kid readers of my brand new chapter book, Mason and the Meganauts. It's so new it doesn't even have illustrations. That's where you come in. Read along and draw along. Read along. Click on the book on icon. Up. Oh, so she doesn't draw. She is reading and then she gives you... Okay, so this is this will be us reading, which is wonderful. But where is her reading? Is she reading? Read along. Maybe I'm hearing the sound. I click read along. No, because this is just opening in a PDF. Ugh. Well, it is a great idea, but oh, maybe we have to click on a book. Real mermaids, I dare you not to yawn. doesn't seem to be okay so this is not an author reading her work but this is an author who is providing really cool activities uh, for like related to her work so that is still a very good thing to send your kids towards uh, here we have somebody else Ben Clanton reading more on doing on Facebook uh, Julia Cook uh, has her own website and Facebook Live at, I don't know what time this is for us, but it's in the morning for sure, afternoon maybe. Uh, Fabian Cousteau, the grandson of Jacques Cousteau, the David Attenborough of the ocean, uh, and the inventor of scuba. Uh, live shark story time reading on March 23rd. Is that on YouTube? Nope, that might still be available on the website, but that was only a March 23rd thing. Uh, James Dean on Instagram reading every day at 12. Julie Falatko reading on a website storyline online. So that's enough of these. There are plenty and plenty though there are plenty. Uh, I like the ones who are reading it themselves, just like on YouTube, though. That is, that is best. Hi, Please. I'm Kate Messner, the author of more than 35 books for kids, yeah, including picture books like Over and Under the Pond and Up in the Garden so and Down. This woman is, Ox is, is really just she a matter is. of patience. That's what I'm looking Placing for. Placing rows of bare so rocks Kate on Messner the ocean floor and waiting for marine life to move in. reading to her children. In. And, and speaking and Canada. looking at and engaging your children. Uh, so, and 
that is that is good let's see oh, this is another facebook one we know what they look like uh, picture book read aloud by Devi Ridpath Ohi. I may have pronounced her name wrong, but I did my best. Uh, very good. David Shannon, Storyline. Okay, this is the second website, or the second person on this website. So let's just take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, optimize your, please choose your preferred, preferred video player. Let's choose YouTube. Sean Aston. Ha, oh, there we go. There we go. Good old Harrison Bergeron. Good old Samwise Gamgee. And one of the goodest Goonies. Camilla Cream loves lima beans. Lima beans. I got into a rhythm between cream and beans. Camilla Cream loves lima beans, but she never eats them. Why? I thought it was going to be a poem because the other kids at her school don't like them and Camilla Cream is very, very worried about what other people think of her. This sounds great for kids. And Sean Astin, I'm sure he will be a great reader. He is, uh, he is very well known actor to some people, uh, most famous lately for Lord of the Rings. So that is Storyline Online, looks like a pretty cool website. Uh, how many, if I click on all books, A Tale of Two Beasts. Oh my goodness, look at this. Sarah Silverman. Ah, oh, Sarah Silverman is a very famous American comedian uh, and pretty awesome also. Carla's Sandwich. Uh, I don't know this woman, so I'm not going to explode with excitement. But this is fantastic. Look at all the stories we got here. Catching the Moon with Kevin Costner and Gillian Estelle. Kevin Costner, also a famous American actor. Uh, I imagine she reads the girl parts. Maybe he reads the narrator. Uh, There's a cute picture. Um, yeah, what an awesome website. Oh my goodness. Uh, when classes get back into session, Maybe I'll be taking another look at this website. Let's see, Tanya Lee Stone. She is on the same website. Same website. Virtual author activities for middle school. Okay, so I was just looking at elementary school here. And now we've got middle school. We've got a whole bunch more. Very good. Draw every day with JJK. Hi everybody! Oh, right on. So this is what I thought we were getting and into. And then I draw the, uh, a bell shape. Read and draw a long thing. Very dynamic line. Yeah, look at that! How expressive. Now, I'm lucky enough that I grew awesome. up to. Oh, that's very cool. Whoops. Let's go back. So yeah, we'll be returning to that website when classes are back in session, perhaps. Um. What? Oh, where did we go? Oh, I went too far. There we go. Uh, so that was this one. Uh, some worksheets for middle school kids. Um, and these could be very good ways. Middle school maybe is not so good. Uh, but some of these, if we can find upper middle school and high school, some of these can be ha can maybe be good ways to keep your English sharp. Also, we got books, activities, a comics, art, blank comic book. Oh, these aren't the activities I was expecting, but these are great for kids. Finish this comic. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be loads of fun. I mean, you might need a printer for those. Uh, so may not be so easy to do while we were all while we are all indoors. But the drawing ones, I like the draw one, drawing ones. Grace Lynn teaches how to draw a Chinese dragon. Uh, da -da -da. Lindy Malahut, she's on her own Malahunt Mulali Hunt. She's on her own website. Uh, another Facebook one. Squealer music. So we have all kinds here. 
more doing drawing. Uh, so if you have children in the house and they are going a little bit nutty because they want to get out of the house, but there's only so many places they can go and go out of the house. Poetry, eh? Ah, oh, very nice. Have we made Emily Dickinson? Have we made her on the high school? We have. High school and young adults. Very good. Very good. This is one that you might look through for yourself and share with your kids. Um, Emily Dickinson is pretty awesome. She's one of my favorite poets. This is not her. This is about her. She was like some hundred years ago. Uh, uh, she's got some really beautiful poetry, but some really hard to understand poetry and sometimes a little bit morbid poetry. So, uh, you know, take that for what it is. I'm just putting it out there. John Green, the author of Faulkner Stars and Paper Towns. He's got a ton of awesome YouTube content and he's written a few many novels. Uh, April Henry, Writing Prompts. I'm going to open that up for my own purposes later. Will Hobbs, uh, Youth Novels. And this was the Poetry Prompts. So all kinds of writing prompts here that people can look at. We have story starters. These are random prompt assemblers. You can build a random prompt. Um, this is a poetry page. This is not where I meant to go. Uh, and we're all done with him. Uh, Okay, uh, that's enough for that page, I think. Let's just see how far we're, yes, we're at the bottom. Uh, so, a lot of really cool activities for kids and quite a few activities that would be good for adults also. Um, let's go back to hello. And the final thing that we're going to talk about in this segment uh, once again, we've been going quite a while, but the final thing, no, you know what? No final thing. No, yes, one final thing. The f just a quick final thing is a check-in on our eagles, the Decora eagles. Uh, I have been saying Decora for a very long time, and I had the pronunciation wrong. The pronunciation of the area is Decora. Um, so the Decora eagles, uh, these have, she has three eggs under her. Um, those of you who are in my class, you guys will already know that part. And these eggs are hat due to hatch anytime in the next week, no later than two weeks. I think if they hatch two weeks from now, that'll be pretty late. So in the middle of this, when people are feeling not entirely very free because people have to stay in place and we don't get to travel and we don't get to go to social events that we are used to going to, maybe it can feel kind of nice to watch something that is extremely free. And let's go back here. And uh, that will be it for this segment and this segment is the final segment so uh, I will be doing this again tomorrow and when I do this tomorrow I'm going to be we're not going to be talking about so many heavy things uh, if there's any immediate updates that we need to if there's any immediate updates to the situation any changes in uh, just anything that, that we need to know about, I will talk a little bit about that. And I may talk tomorrow about emergency measures. But two of the main things I have planned for tomorrow is uh, a little bit of a deeper discussion about the Eagles, a little bit of a history about the Eagles, and also some grammar discussion uh, I plan to talk tomorrow about using who, which, and that to make your sentences longer. 
and also I'll be reading a short story. This is a short story for adults, and uh, it may be a little bit difficult, and depending on how long it takes, I may not read the whole thing. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, if I don't read the whole thing, then I'll finish it in a follow-up episode the next day. So that is it for me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Uh, and I hope that everybody is staying safe and staying sane during our lockdown. And I hope that you will join me again tomorrow. Uh, I don't know exactly what time, but presumably I will begin again at 5 o'clock. We'll see how that goes. Um, and also I want to remind those people who are still in my classes that uh, our Edulink site is still available and I'm also continuing to upload things there that could be useful for you. Um, and also we care about how you're doing. Um, and so it would be nice if you can just let us know how you're doing. Uh, and we may reach out to you in the coming days just to check in directly to see how you're doing. Uh, that is it for me. Thank you for joining me. Uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Have a great night.